Don't try to be supportive, Ray. It's way too late for that. Deborah. All right, all right. I'm sorry. It's not you. It's me. It's all me. I don't know why I thought I could do this. Listen, I know I was really being supportive, but I realized that I could have been a little bit more. That's okay. Thanks for helping out here today. Oh, there it is. Charlotte Sterling Agency. No, Charlotte's not in. Yes, we're all set for paper clips. Can I help you? I was hoping to talk to Miss Sterling. Are you here to solve her something? No. Then I'm Charlotte Sterling. My receptionist took another mental health day. I'm Ray Barone. Yes. My wife worked here until yesterday. Well, my wife worked here yesterday. Oh, yes, I'm so sorry about that. Are you here for her coffee mug? I rinsed it. Have a nice day. Thank you, you too. No, see the mug. Look, about Deborah. I know it's kind of weird for me to come here, but I feel like this is partly my fault. I wasn't as supportive as I think Deborah was hoping it'd be. What are you talking about? Well, okay, like, I could have taken care of the zoo thing, and then you wouldn't have had to... What zoo thing? Hello, Charlotte Sterling Agency. Upgrade my web browser? I don't even know what that means. I'll give her the message. See, about the zoo... What? You fired Deborah because our daughter had to go to the zoo. I still don't know what you're talking about. I had to let Deborah go because... Let me show you her campaign for the pizza account. Here it is. She created a character to go on all their packaging and ads. The man who invented pizza. Professor Pizza. Yes, yes. First name Pete, last name Za. Pizza. It's cute. I know, but you see, the client isn't paying us to be cute. They don't want a guy with a pun name and a mozzarella hat. Okay, but that's just one thing. You fired her over one thing? I didn't want to fire her, but she just wouldn't let it go. I said, I don't think this is what the client wants. And she just started arguing with me. I have to say, she's kind of stubborn. Hmm. Boy, that doesn't sound like my Deborah. You know what? She's probably just nervous because it was her first day. Is there any way you could give her another shot? Oh, I'm so sorry, but I wish I could do that. But I need somebody who can just jump right in. Nobody knows what they're doing. What? Stop calling me! I don't need anything! Oh, actually, I do need Tony. It was really nice meeting you. Okay, look, I'll get out of here with I'm just sorry you didn't get to see Deborah at her best. Sometimes it's hard for her to be at her best because she has to put up with so much. I mean, there's me. I'm a much bigger problem than I look. And I don't know if she told you this or not, but my parents live across the street. That's right. You know that guy who was just bothering you on the phone? Imagine two of them coming over every day for the rest of your life. And she's already juggling all the kids with school, doctors, gymnastics. And, uh, all right, okay. I'm sorry. Here, you can refile that. Gosh, I had no idea. How many kids do you have? Seven. Hi, Pukashan. A little gift for my wife. Great, I can take juice boxes, meet a jamboree. Or to the Charles Sterling Agency if you like juice for your lunch. I got your job back. Ta-da! What? I spoke to Charlotte, and she said she's going to give you another shot. Charlotte? When did you speak to Charlotte? Today. I skipped lunch. How could you do that? I had a big breakfast. Oh my god, oh my god. Happy? How dare you? Who do you think you are? What do you mean? I was trying to be supportive. So you graveled for my job? Mm, just a little. Charlotte was really understanding. I tried to tell her Professor Pizza was not... Pizza? She told you about pizza? Wow. Professor Pizza. 
What were you thinking? It was good. His hair was cheese. His hat was cheese. I was trying to appeal to a wide demographic, teens, adults. You wouldn't understand. Now you see, that type of attitude is what gets people fired. Uh, I, I, I thought it was funny. Ali liked it. Um, Ali's six. I don't know. I don't have anyone to run things by around here. Oh, well, I'm here. Hey, you know you could try tomorrow? Pepe Roni. Pepperoni. He could be a uh, sausage with a sombrero. Ole! I can't go back there. It's too humiliating. Even when I was talking to Charlotte, I just, I don't know what happened to me. I kept thinking to myself, stop talking. But all I could do was fight for pizza. I'll tell you what it is. You're surrounded by Barones. It's a jungle out there. Survival of the fittest. If you didn't know how to hold your ground, my mom would be wearing you as a coat. No, no, I can't blame your family for me losing my job. Why not? It's a cop-out. I'm doing it when I lose my job. You know, thanks for what you tried to do today at the office. Yeah, just being supportive. I appreciate it. I made you some comfort food, dear. I'm sorry to hear about you getting fired, but why don't you try and expand your horizons? Try out some gardening. Your yard does need the work. Gardening's fun. You have lost weight. You look great, honey. Doesn't she? Meet Mr. Clean, Procter & Gamble's new all-purpose liquid cleaner. Mr. Clean gets rid of dirt and grime and grease in just a minute. Mr. Clean will clean your whole house and everything that's in it. Floors, doors, walls, halls, white sidewalls, tires, and old golf balls. Sinks, stoves, bathtubs, he'll do. He'll even help clean laundry, too. Mr. Clean gets rid of dirt and grime and grease in just a minute. Mr. Clean will clean your whole house and everything that's in it. Can he clean a kitchen sink? Quicker than a wink. Can he clean a window sash? Faster than a flash. Can he clean a dirty mirror? He'll make it bright and clearer. Can he clean a diamond ring? Mr. Clean cleans anything. Mr. Clean gets rid of dirt and grime and grease in just a minute. Mr. Clean will clean your whole house and everything that's in it. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Yes, we do have an opening, and I'm sure you're a fast learner, but I really need someone with more PR experience. But you don't understand. I need to get out of my house. My husband is driving me crazy. Okay. Well, thank you for your interest. Wait, before you make your final decision, won't you try some of this lasagna? Uh, right now? Please, dear. You're so thin. 